and Gong Si Fa Tai in advance, Chinese New Year is approaching. It is a very different Chinese New Year for all of us because of you know who, COVID. But I think that making some really yummy treats in the kitchen is a great way to get that festive feeling anyway. So today I'm gonna show you my Pandan Pineapple Frangipan Tart. To me, you can get really good pineapple tarts all over the place, so I'm not gonna compete with those aunties and those experts. I'm gonna do my own thing. This is inspired by a British bake wool tart. So you have your pastry, then a layer of jam, and then frangipane, frangipan, I never really know how to say it, which is a ground almond and egg mixture. It's spongy, it's aromatic, it's delicious, and it's gonna be good. And we're gonna scent it with pandan. There you go, Chinese New Year. Let's start off with the pineapple jam. This is pineapple cut from three pineapples. You're looking for around 1.5 kilos. And I'm just gonna blend this up in a food processor to make it really nice and fine. When you've ground up the pineapple into pulp, just put it directly into a non-stick wok or a pot. Non-stick just makes it really easy to make sure that it doesn't get stuck onto the edges, making your cleanup easier. I'm going to add 600 grams of sugar. I know it looks like a lot, but pineapple is more sour than you think it is, and it needs the sweetness in order to become jam. My jam, your jam, it's everybody's jam. Usually you cook the pineapple jam down with some whole spices, but because I really want my tart to be super fragrant with pandan aroma, I'm just gonna add a little bit of Chinese five spice powder because that way I can control exactly how much spice flavor gets into the jam. And I'm gonna put in a quarter teaspoon just to give it that nice spiced flavor, that warmth, but nothing too strong smelling. Now this just goes onto the stove. We're gonna cook it on a medium heat until it boils and that juice starts to evaporate. As it gets thicker and thicker, you wanna put it on a super low heat while stirring and it's gonna become sticky, golden brown, super pineapple jammy, delicious. Oh, so good. And by the way, after cutting open three pineapples, you're gonna be left with a lot of peel and core and all of that stuff. So don't waste this. I'm gonna make another video, I'll link it somewhere, about how to make tapache, which is a fermented Mexican drink featuring pineapple. The next thing we need to take care of is the pastry. This is a very basic short crust pastry. So I have my plain flour in there. I'll add some cubed, very cold butter straight from the fridge, a good pinch of salt, and a little bit of sugar, just around two teaspoons. And now just pulse it together. And then we can run it until it's just become like damp breadcrumbs. And you can see how the whole mixture looks much more yellow. The butter is distributed in the flour. So now with the machine running, I am going to add one egg and a little bit of milk just to bind everything together. The moment it comes together, just stop. So this is the pastry. It's so soft because here in Singapore, it's so hot and it's really hard to work with pastry. But because it's nice and buttery, I'm just gonna hold it in my hands and give it a light knead. And then this little parcel of pastry goes in the fridge to chill until it's really nice and firm. The pineapple jam and the pastry have both chilled overnight. As you can tell, it's a new day. So let's make the pastry cases. And I'm just gonna roll it out into a relatively thin layer. Because of Singapore's climate, you kind of have to start with a really cold block of pastry. If you read an American or a European recipe, they'll say to let it soften slightly before you roll it. But honestly, in this weather, if you let it soften to that stage and you start to roll it, it's going to melt like in front of you. So the best thing to do is start when it's still basically rock hard. I'm just gonna cut out some circles from the dough. I should really have a proper cutter, but I don't and that's life. So I'm just gonna use this other muffin tin thing. So I know these are not the prettiest pastry cases so far, 
Basically, the pastry was so soft, I ended up just pressing them into the cases. So maybe next time, just skip the rolling out step and just go ahead and press them in. Now I'm going to blind bake them. And that basically means I'm going to take a bit of parchment paper. I'll kind of lightly, lightly put it into the pastry case. And then I'll fill it with some dried beans just to weigh down the case. These are just dried soybeans. You can buy actual baking beans, which are not real beans, but even rice works as well. These are gonna bake with the beans in for eight minutes at 185 degrees. Then we'll take the beans out and put them back in the oven for another five minutes so the pastry can get golden brown and crisp. While the pastry bakes, I am going to start on the frangipan, frangipan. I'm gonna go with frangipan. I want to make a pandan scented frangipan and the only liquid in a frangipan is eggs so I'm going to blend some pandan leaves with eggs. Oh by the way, if you don't know what a frangipan is, if you've ever had a baked wool tart, which this is inspired by, that kind of spongy almondy top layer, that's frangipan. So I'm going to crack some eggs into a jug. I've got around 16 pandan leaves that I've cut up so I'll just put them in with the eggs. And then I'm just going to use an immersion blender to blend them and get the pandan juice and flavour out into the eggs. And then just strain the egg mixture to get out all those bits of pandan leaves. It smells good as well. I know it's raw eggs and raw pandan leaves, but it does smell good. Now, to make the frangipan, I'm using a stand mixer just because it's easier. You can use a handheld electric mixer or if you really want to work out, use a wooden spoon and a bowl. I'm just going to cream the butter until it's really nice and fluffy. Add some caster sugar and let this cream together for a few minutes until it's really a lot paler and fluffier. It happens okay, even at New Year. See how much more pale and lighter that is? Now we're going to beat in the green eggs in kind of Two batches. I know it looks kind of gross, like curdled, but that's okay. Now we're going to mix together the dry ingredients and that's going to bring everything together. These are ground almonds. This is really what makes frangipan frangipan. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of plain flour just to help it hold together and also some salt for flavor. Just give the dry ingredients a little whisk together to break up any clumps. Now put this in the mixer and we'll let everything mix together and come together. Here they are, the ugliest pastry shells known to man. Look, it's not about what they look like, it's about what they taste like. So as long as they're nice and crumbly and crisp, I don't really care what they look like on the outside. So this is the beautiful pineapple jam that we made before. And it's sticky, it's tangy, it's sweet, it's caramelized, it's lightly spiced. Mm. I could just eat this, honestly. But I won't. So I'm gonna take a little bit out and put it in the bottom of each pastry shell. And try and spread it out, get a flattish layer. So now, this pandan scented French pan goes on top. This is gonna go back in the oven and bake until it's risen, puffed, cooked through, golden brown. Look at these beautiful little tartlets. They are nice and golden brown, puffed up on top. The pastry is beautifully golden brown and crisp. Enough talk. It's time to taste. Mm. I don't know what to say. It's so good. Mm. You've got the tangy, sweet, sticky pineapple jam, the fluffy, nutty, buttery frangipan, and then the crisp pastry on the bottom. I know it doesn't really quite taste like a traditional pineapple tart, but it's not trying to be. This tart is her own woman. She's independent, she's beautiful, she's got character, personality, success, she's got everything, and she's delicious. Happy New Year to me indeed. And Happy New Year to you. I hope you try this at home and I hope you have an amazing Chinese New Year wherever you're celebrating it, however you're celebrating it and whoever you're celebrating it with. Wishing you Xin Yan Kuai Le, Wan Shi Ru Yi, Tian Tian Mi Ming.